What's up, everybody? Chris Lyle, South Carolina Gun School. We're out here again at Train and Learn 2024 this year, and we're back with Primary Arms again. Ken Ross, how hey, are you Chris, doing, sir? You, yes, sir. It's always a pleasure to see you. You know, I, we had some issues with our interview last year, so I wanted to be able to get this in, get a better picture, get some better sound quality and stuff. So I know you've also brought out some newer stuff for us to uh, look at. I think this was one of the yeah that is our glx micro prism that yes. is new for us this year uh, if you take a look along the sides here if you're used to seeing our micro prism uh, it is one of our top selling products uh, but one of the things we we wanted to we're always looking to make some improvements so this is part of our glx line for the upcoming product we remove we move the knob from the side if you notice this is clean on the side except for push buttons that adjust the illumination we move the battery cap to the so to the top of it so it's easily loadable on the top you still got your windage and elevation on the top and side as well but it's a narrower profile than the original slx altogether by doing it though we ended up making the lenses a little bit bigger uh, and with that size you almost have unlimited eye relief on this thing so it's an incredible optic the glass is clear uh, we still have our same etch reticles it comes in a uh, it, this is our cyclops version of it it comes with eight different mounting options as all of our micro prisms do uh, and uh, you, it's the same great quality that you've come to know and love with our uh, micro prisms. Now you've talked about the SLX, the GLX, mm -hmm. and then you also have a PLX. PLX, yes sir. That's your different lines, correct? Yeah, that's our different tiers. The PLX being the top, the GLX being the middle, and the SLX being the bottom. We also have a classic line, but those are our three main tiers. Right, and one thing I want to mention, I have an SLX 1 and 6 on my rifle that I've been running absolutely amazing so when he said it's the lower line don't think you're going to get something cheap no no it, it's the highest quality we can get and maintain a certain price point we try to keep each of the tiers at various price points so uh you know they may cross a little bit but we're giving you quality no matter what you get yes uh, the, that that optic for me has been absolutely phenomenal the clarity i mean t i was actually i had a lucid on there before and two big things for me that i noticed right away were one the weight difference i was when i put y'all's on there i was like i'm like oh my god we're, it's so much lighter and then the clarity through the glass it has been absolutely phenomenal we appreciate too. that we appreciate so, that um and i'll have a link to that review video that i've got already out on the youtube page at the end so y'all can go in and check that out as well too um and some of your handgun optics i know we talked about the uh the one that's got the it's got a 250 moa circle on it mm -hmm. um i got a chance to shoot that last year it, it is absolutely phenomenal uh, especially if you're going to be newer to red dots and i know we even talked about for the competition shooter yeah. as well mm -hmm. too um i'll let you kind of explain that a little bit more so All i don't right. mess anything up this is the first optic uh pistol optic that we've come out with that has our vulcan reticle in it as chris mentioned you know, this is our RS-15 in our GLX line. It's a rugged housing, a very large window for possibly competition shooting, self-defense. It includes our Vulcan reticle in it. Uh, Hollow Sun partners with us. They do have the Vulcan reticle in some of their pistols. This is our first pistol dot with the Vulcan reticle in it. A 250 MOA circle around the outside and a 3 MOA dot in the middle or a chevron. So what that does for you is uh, the dot obviously is for target acquisition but let's say you're off in any direction, left, right, up, down, and you have trouble acquiring that dot, the 250 MOA circle helps direct you back into the center of it for faster uh, target acquisition. So I would definitely highly recommend that if you're looking to get into red dots, this to me would be where you would need to start because I was one of those when I started with red dots, I got out there and I was the, yeah. where did it go? And it, yeah, you see the edge of the circle and you know exactly where you've got to move back to to be able to get back to that dot so i i definitely definitely recommend this especially for the newer ones that are looking to get into red dots because this is definitely going to help you out tremendously yeah. and not only for newer shooters but you know a lot of uh, uh experienced shooters on red dots spend a lot of time on the line learning how to shoot dots but in those dynamic incidents where you are taking cover when you're moving through your house quickly when you're hiding behind a car if you're a police officer officer uh, in a, an incident, 
you're going to lose your dot. You'll possibly lose your dot. I shouldn't say always, but you'll possibly lose that dot. And this is a life or death situation. You want to get on it a lot quicker. That circle helps you get there. Now, what is the mounting platform for that particular dot? Uh, this is uh, Dr. Noblex Seymour mounting uh, platform. Okay. Uh, currently, uh, we are working on other platforms as well. It is a top loading battery, um, 2032. Uh, so it's easy to find batteries for it. Order a bunch of them on Amazon. Yeah, change it. Yeah. Change it on your birthday. You know, it'll last longer than that. It does have auto live in it, but you know, um, I like to change mine on my birthday. I go through all my optics and change them on my birthday to make sure that everything's up to par. With that type of circle that y'all have, the 250 MOA circle there, does that affect the battery life it compared does. to some of the others? It, it would affect the battery life because it's pulling more energy. Right. But um, it's got the auto live on it, so that helps conserve energy. So it would shorten it a little bit because there is so much more uh, right. illumination there. That, yeah, that's that's awesome, man. Yep. I, I absolutely love that thing. I'm definitely going to have to invest in one of those. That's going to be my next investment right all there. All right, all right. I, I just got to figure out which gun I'm going to put it on. There you go. Uh, the next just thing, buy a new gun. <laughs> <laughs> when, all else, when all else fails, just yeah, buy another just buy gun. buy a new gun. Right? Yeah. Um, I know I would really like to talk about this. Um, this is an absolutely great little optic here, uh, especially for me, for some of my AR pistols, this would be great because I know with some low variables, you end up, I, I like with the one I've got now, I'm kind of out of real estate because of the size of the low variable. So this is really awesome on how short y'all have made this. Yeah, you mentioned size of the optic or the weight of the optic that you have at home. Well, this is the shortest, lightest on the market right now. Uh, we pride ourselves on that. Our engineers have done a great job on it. And it was already shortest, lightest before, but this version of it, what we've done is taken this platform and put our Nova reticle in the center of it. If you're familiar with our one to sixes with our Nova reticle in it, it is a traditional uh, optic setup with the crosshairs, but it has a Nova bright or super red dot bright reticle in the center of it. We do that with fiber wire. You can also still range using this reticle you can uh, windage you can estimate using the crosshairs on there but the only illumination point is a very bright dot and it is truly a daylight bright type of dot so and that's, as we say Nova bright that's what I like about mine as well too that that dot on how bright it is because most most of the other optics I've dealt with I have to go almost all the way up mm -hmm. with the brightness mm -hmm. with that one I'm maybe at like four or five. Yeah. yeah. When, when I go all the way up on it, it's it's a little rough on my eyes when I go at it for a little bit. But yeah. it, it's nice to have that, especially you know if you're in a low light situation or something yeah. like that. Well, it, yeah, it's definitely available to you. All of the settings are there. When we were uh, going through uh, testing on this thing, one of the engineers brought it into uh, my office, or I was in his office, and he said, "Check this out." And he turned it all the way up, and you can see it reflecting off the wall. Oh wow! So we clearly had to turn that down. Right. Right. But that's how bright we can get this. Yes, yeah. yes, it's it's awesome. I, I love y'all's product line. It it's gets to me. It seems like it gets better and better and better every year. I appreciate. So y'all are doing absolutely amazing things on there. You're keeping it affordable. So don't think these things are are outrageously priced. These are very 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 reasonably priced for the quality that you're getting. Because I'll be honest, some of these uh, some of this stuff. Y'all could, to me, I know y'all could definitely charge more. Yeah, we probably could charge more, but yeah, that's part of our uh, commitment to our customer base. Right. Yeah, that, that's how the company was started. That's how we're going to continue it. That commitment to the customer base. And that's one thing I don't. We didn't get. I didn't speak about it. Or we didn't talk about it last year, and that was my fault. And I kind of felt bad. Their customer service is absolutely phenomenal, and I know that was one thing you highlighted yesterday. When you call in and you're talking, you've got questions on an AK. You're getting an AK. Expert. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, we have very talented customer service. We spend a lot of time vetting them. Uh, when you call our our building.
evening when you call primary arms you talk to a person uh, during the between the hours of eight o'clock and 6 30 or 7 I can't remember specifically which one and uh, it's a real person and it's a person that is located in the United States in Houston uh, you know I, I see them every day walk past my office and they are experts in their areas we have optics areas we are uh, experts we have uh, AK experts we have AR experts if you call and you ask about something specific we direct you to a person who is educated on that we even bring in manufacturers to educate us on their products so you'll see um, uh, Magpul come in you'll see uh, CMC come in you'll see uh, Geisley come in and talk to our customer service teams about their products to help them educate themselves on those products that, and that's awesome because I mean some of these places you just you get customer service and then they have their sheets or their folders and stuff that they go through trying to find what they need so I do I find that absolutely amazing that you're getting an expert in what you're calling in about that that is tr to me really really awesome because I before I started really getting into this I was in had the customer service worked in the call center yes. you know cell phone industry and yep. you know they had p each manufacturer would come in and still teach a little bit but it was pretty much guidelines that we had to go by you really didn't have all right the, this is your LG group this is your Samsung group this mm -hmm. is your Apple group so that is absolutely amazing that y'all do that uh, I, I, I can't speak enough about y'all's product if you're looking for some good optics this is it right here especially if, if, if money is an issue this is it like you said there's different levels to go through SLX GLX and PLX so it's not like they're just got that one tier they have different tiers for you to pick from so definitely definitely check them out uh, I'll have their links and stuff down in the description as well too uh, Ken I appreciate you taking appreciate the time man Thanks, um, man. as always folks don't forget if you're not shooting you're reloading if you're not reloading you're fighting if you're not fighting you're dead train to live see you on the range